In this session, you will learn how to create a Google site. To create a Google site in Google Drive, you click New, More, Google Sites. And your new site is created in your Google Drive. And here is another method. If you go to the Google Apps menu and choose Google Sites, it will take you to the old version of Google Sites. If that happens, click on New Google Sites. That will take you to the Google Sites dashboard, which really is Google Drive, but it is the dashboard for sites. You can create a new blank Google site here. You could choose one of the templates, or you can go to a recent site and continue editing. Let's click on blank. Now that you've created your Google site, we do need to go through and name the file and change some of the information to make sure everything is set up correctly. Let's start with the file name. Click on the title at the top and name your site. When you name your site, you will notice the site name appears in the top left corner of the site also. Notice the page itself did not get named. So now I had to name my site. This name here for the site name could be different than the actual site name. The site name and the file name are for the entire website, whereas the name at the top of the page could be just the title for that page. This part at the top is called the header. To change the type of header, you hover over the header and click on header type. You can choose cover, large banner, banner, which is the default, or title only. Once we have that named, we're going to go into the settings. At the top, you will see a gear for settings. When you click on that, you have a few options to consider. You could put the navigation bar at the side or at the top. I'm going to leave color as transparent. You can add a logo and a favicon, which a favicon is the little icon at the top in the tab. Like right here in Google Drive, the Google Drive icon is the favicon. The default for Google Sites is the Google Sites favicon. Explore the viewer tools to decide which options you want here. You can set up Google Analytics tracking if you're interested. And they added a new feature recently called the Announcement Banner. The Announcement Banner shows up at the top of your web page. You would just turn it on and go through the settings. Let's look back at the Google Sites training site and you can see the Announcement Banner right here in orange. I'll go back to the settings and you can see it's turned on. I have the banner color set to orange. My message is here. I created a button, which is there. And I link the button to a video that shows how to create an announcement banner. I had it open in a new tab and only show up on the home page. Now we're going to click publish. The first time you publish, you will need to set your web address. It will be sites.google.com slash bcps.k12.md.us slash site name or whatever name you give it. Also by default, anyone at Baltimore City Public Schools can view the website. So when I click on manage, I really have two options I want to pay attention to. So when I click at the bottom under links, the first one is editing. It says draft restricted. I will want to choose restricted Baltimore City Public Schools or anyone with the link. Generally, you want to leave it on restricted because you don't want to have open editing allowed for your website. The second one says publish site Baltimore City Public Schools. I want to choose restricted and I can restrict the viewers to specific people or leave it on Baltimore City Public Schools or public. And when I choose that one, for example, anyone on the internet can find it open and they are a viewer. So this is the view and this is editing. And I'm going to publish. At any point, I can click share with others to return to that settings menu and add specific editors or change the view options. As long as you have created your site in your My Drive folder and not in the shared drives, you have the option in the Share with People menu to allow editors to publish, change permissions, and add new people. If you uncheck that, only you, the owner, can do the publishing. So if you want to add students, they can make edits and not publish. Or you can check this and allow publishing by the other editors. On the other hand, if a student created the Google Sites file, students in grades K through 8 are limited to sharing only within Baltimore City Public Schools, while students in grades 9 through 12 may share to anyone. My site is now named. I've adjusted my sharing permissions and my settings. And I will publish again. 
Now it's time to start building the site.